Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Trade Market Scenario by Segal Sea Trade On Jan 12th, the Asia Pacific Panamax trade rates continued to be down. The Asia Pacific Supermax trade rates witnessed downward trend. The Cape size trade rates were declined. The Pacific Handy size market trended lower. Container rates soared on concerns of prolonged Red Sea disruption. Container shipping rates for key global routes have soared this week with US and UK air strikes on Yemen stirring concerns of a prolonged disruption to global trade in Red Sea, one of the world's busiest routes, industry officials said on Friday. US and British warplanes, ships and submarines launched dozens of strikes across Yemen overnight in retaliation against Iran-backed Houthi forces for attacks on Red Sea shipping, widening regional conflicts stemming from Israel's war in Gaza. The benchmark Shanghai Containerized Freight Index was up over 16% week on week to 2206 points on Friday. What an India club means for the country shipping industry. India plans to set up its own protection and indemnity entity, the India Club, for providing insurance to ships operating in Indian coasts and waterways. Currently, the shipping industry relies on global firms for insurance. An India-focused local entity may reduce the country's vulnerability to international sanctions and pressures as coverage is denied to ships operating between countries facing sanctions. The Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways is leading a move to form a coalition of domestic fleet owners operating on coastal and Indian waterway routes. The locally owned PNI entity will only cater to vessels operating within the country on coastal routes and inland waterway system. Before we move on to the rest of the news updates, I would like to inform you that the 10th Indian Tanker Shipping and Trade Summit is being organized on 9th of February 2024 in Mumbai and the venue will have limited seating capacity. So we request you to reserve your seat as soon as possible. Registrations will be done on a first come first served basis. Plaquemines Port and APM Terminals unveiled strategic partnership to develop a major container terminal. Plaquemines Port Harbour and Terminal District proudly announces the execution of a letter of intent with APM Terminals to build a state of the art container terminal on the west bank of Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana. APMT is one of the largest terminal operators in the world and is a subsidiary of AB Molay Maersk, a global leader in logistics services. APMT currently operates four container terminals in the US. Top bunker hub Singapore marine fuel sales hit record high in 2023. Marine fuel sales at world's leading bunkering hub in Singapore hit a record high last year. Official data showed on Friday driven by record container throughput and increased interest in biofuels. Bunker sales including volumes of bioblended fuels and liquefied natural gas rose to 51.82 million metric tons data from Singapore's Maritime and Port Authority showed. That surpassed a previous high of 50.64 million tons in 2017. Volumes in December were the highest of any month last year at 5.05 million tons. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.